Hi guys, uh, good afternoon. Um, hope y'all are doing okay. <clears throat> Today is uh, Monday, May 1st. I mean, man, now we're in May, guys. This is going very fast. Um, time's definitely going fast, and um, we're getting closer and closer to our uh, departure out of here in the rapture. So, Lord, he's coming to get us real soon. Um, and I believe it's any time now. That's how close I feel it is. Um, any time now, literally. And um, so, yeah, um, last night, actually this morning, basically, I had a uh, a dream. And then the, day, and then the uh, night before, not last night, but the night before, I also had several dreams. So I'll go ahead and let y'all know about the one I had this morning. And, um, and it ties in like right now I got to go meet, meet with someone. Um, I have a one o'clock meeting with someone and, um, I, um, and that was in this dream. So essentially in the dream I, I had this morning, I, um, it was like I had already awoke. I was already walking around and I was, I was panicking because I was like, man, why did I wake up at, um, at noon? You know, why did I wake up? Because it was like 12 o'clock around when I woke up. So I was like, why did I wake up at noon? Why did I wake up this late? I, I got a meeting at one o'clock, which is true. I do have a meeting at, um, coming up at one right now. And, um, but in this dream I had woken up, um, I guess really late. It was like noon and I was like, man, it's noon. It's too late. Like it's too late. And pretty much the whole dream, I was just walking around, um, trying to get prepared, but I knew I didn't have enough time. I was out of time, like I knew I would be late to the meeting, there was just no way, when I had, since I had gotten up at, um, you know, noon, there was no way I'd make the meeting at one, and um, that's pretty much what the whole dream was, I was like, almost like, it was like one big hurry, and um, and I knew I was, wasn't going to be able to make it on time, and that's pretty much what I remember from that dream this morning. And um, I believe that's the Lord just saying we are that close. We are, we are, we are, we are out of time. I mean, guys, we are, we are basically, we are out of time. We are going any moment. Time is up. I mean, it's it's, uh, it's over. And um, I believe that was that's what the Lord was letting, and He's letting other people know that too. Time is up through through, through uh, dreams and visions and everything. That it, it's just flat out. I mean, time is up. And um, so that's what that dream was all about um, this morning. So I wanted to let y'all know about that, um, that one, um, let's see, there were also, um, yeah, the other night I had a fair amount, it was like one after another, and like I wasn't sure if they were, like, maybe some of them might have been attacks, but I, I believe some were from the Lord, and, um, yeah, there was one that I remember really clearly, and, um, it was like I was going to get a, uh, like a vaccination, and you know, sometimes my dad will bring me to get like a flu shot when we get in the, the, the winter season, and so that's what this was like, almost like he was bringing to me to get, I was going to get a vaccination, and so we started waiting in line, and the nurses were behind the, you know, the table administering the vaccinations, I guess, or whatever, or shots, um, injections, and, um, and um, I was just patiently, I think, waiting in line or sitting, waiting so they could get finished with the other people. And um, pretty much and at a certain point, my dad, he's like, man, this is taking too long. And he goes off to the left. And I was like, no, don't go over there. I'm like, come back. We have to wait. You know, we have to wait till we, we got to wait till they finish with the other people. And, and then eventually it cleared up. And I was like, I told my dad, I'm like, you know, come on, come back. You know, it, it's cleared up now when they were ready to give me my shot or whatever and um the um um pretty much then I approached the table where the nurses were sitting uh, and um and then my dad he moved back to almost sit next to the nurses almost or something like he went behind the table with them and so essentially I um then they started to ask me questions like do, do you have any allergies and I was like oh no and then they were like, I think going to, do you have any medical maybe problems or something or history? And I think at first I hesitated, but then I told them, oh, well, yeah, because there was something in the past, a little heart thing, but that's like, I mean, that was a way long time ago. Um, and that was probably just due to like dehydration. So essentially with that, I, um, I think my dad was like, oh yeah, so like, you know, he had a little something a long time ago. 
and um, and he was like, oh yeah, yeah, I did. And then, and then pretty much right after that, it's like, yeah, I remember I put out my, I believe it was my left arm, and then they gave me the injection in my left arm, and like I felt it. And um, and the thing is, like I started almost, it felt like I was, um, I guess, dying or almost like, yeah, like almost like dying where I was just started, everything started fading out, and I started kind of getting a little worried, I was like, oh, you know, Lord Jesus can cleanse me of my sins, you know, forgive me for my sins, and, um, like, like, it's like I knew I was dying in a dream, and see, I don't know if I had, like, some reaction to the injection or something, but it's like I was, like, almost like I was leaving this, this physical flesh, and I was, um, essentially, um, yeah, like, passing on, that's what it felt like, and it's weird, I've never had, like, a near-death experience, so I don't know what it feels like, but it almost, that's what it felt like, I knew in the dream I was, like, dying, and, uh, you know, and I was repenting, you know, getting prepared to just, you know, leave, leave this flesh, and, um, and then I awoke, and I believe that, that's, when I was waking up, it's like, that's when it felt like I was, um, you know, passing on, like, as when that was occurring, I was essentially waking up, but it felt like I was really dying or something, and, um, then I woke up from that, and, um, and that, I wasn't really sure for a while, I couldn't figure it out, um, like, I thought it could have been an attack, but, I mean, I wasn't overly scared or overly freaked out, necessarily in the dream, I wasn't overly scared, like, I, I didn't wake up from it all panting or heart racing, or it wasn't like a nightmare, or it didn't seem like a demonic attack, necessarily, it didn't seem like that, and I couldn't figure out the dream for a while, but I think later in the day, I, I think I thought about it, I mean, when you get a shot, a, a va like, let's say a vaccination, which is pretty much what this was, or like a flu shot, that's to prevent, um, that's to prevent, um, like, to prevent harm from occurring to you, uh, it's, it's to help you out, to, 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 um, prevent you from, um, getting harmed by whatever virus or whatever, um, that's what vaccinations do, that's what they're for, and, um, I think the Lord, he may just be saying, I, I believe that may represent our, um, like, when we get transformed, um, we get taken out of here, um, and we, we get taken out of here, it's gonna, like, we get our new bodies, it's almost like a, um, in a sense where we're getting, where we're protected, there's no more corruptible, once we get out his flesh, the spirit, it's not gonna be corruptible, I believe that's kind of what the Lord may be saying, we're getting ready to receive our new glorified bodies, and, um, and then, and then I believe that's what that very represent, when I got the uh, injection, I started, like, almost dying, or essentially fading away, I believe that represents to this flesh. We're just it's gonna fade away and we're gonna receive our um, our glorified bodies. So I believe I think that's what the Lord was letting me know. Um is pretty much that's what that represented, I believe. Um I don't think it was an attack from the enemy. Um let me try to think. I th there were a few other dreams that night. Um like some short ones. And I believe those were from the Lord. Yeah, there was one almost, it was like football. Like, I'm not really big. I don't really care for watching sports or anything. Um, but there was one where it was like, almost like, f I was watching like, you know when they line up like face to face when they're getting ready to spike the ball in football? The offense and the def defense are just staring at each other. Getting ready to, um, you know, spike the ball and run the play. And that's what this was. There was one side was like these big, very very, yeah, big guys, I believe they had beards, like, a lot of facial hair, beards, like, coming out of their, um, their, watchman, their, um, their face masks, and this team, these guys look intimidating, I think they were, like, grunting or acting very intimidating, like, trying to intimidate the other team, and then at a certain point, I looked at the other team, and these guys weren't as, I don't remember them being as big, as strong, I don't remember the fate, a ton of facial hair or beards poking out of the uh, face mask, um, and they seemed more like they weren't in the football stance like the, the other guys. They were more kind of just standing up casually, like a, um, in doing kind of like the, um, I think they were like beckoning with their hand, like come, well, like almost like they're ready for, um, you know, bring it on. And, and I think they were almost standing more like I would say like a martial arts type stance. Like you see sometimes they'll, 
you'll see like in the I think the movies they would do that like with the the hands the hand like saying come come like you know I'm ready for the challenge like that's what these guys were doing they were um they were um they just didn't look as much like a big big giant football players but yet they looked like they weren't scared at all of the other guys they were they really weren't scared and they were actually like saying hey come we're ready for the challenge and they just had more of like i'd say like a martial arts type stance a, a different fighting type stance not a football like football type stance and um and then that's pretty much where that dream is. and i think that that the lord is just saying like pretty much like i believe we're the guys who um us were underestimated so the enemy is like um essentially puts on this very tough persona big tough tries to scare people whereas i believe us who are um you know we're, we're um you know followers of christ for following the lord um we are um we're kind of more the uh, you could say like i guess the guys they don't look necessarily um, they don't look necessarily, may not look super tough or ginormous, but they are um, very, very skilled. Like a martial arts, um, someone who knows martial arts may not very look very huge, muscular, but they sure know how to um, perform martial arts. For example, to um, to um, to overtake the opponent. So I believe that's what that's represented. We are um, we are more. Um, We are more, um, we are more the, um, we are prepared to, um, you know, we are, um, kind of underestimated. So I believe that's what the Lord was kind of saying in that dream. Um, and there were some other ones, but I can't really remember much of the, um, yeah, there was maybe something else, but at this time I can't recall. Um, so I just want to let you know about those two dreams. Um, or those, 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 whatever, three dreams or so, um, I, um, yeah, we're in May now, May 1st, um, I think May, May, it, it could very well be a very, a big month, um, to just keep your eyes open, keeping the word of, um, God, keep constantly in prayer, um, and just keep your eyes on Jesus Christ, um, and I, I mean, I believe it's very soon, a lot of other people, I mean, the Lord's letting them know it's soon. They can feel it. I mean, it's it's any day now. Um, and um, so just, I mean, we got to take it a day at a time and um, just keep looking up. I mean, we're going home soon. Um, um, so I hope y'all uh, have a uh, okay day. And um, I guess I will uh, catch y'all later. Goodbye, guys.